One person has been killed and 77 injured during a second night of rioting at an Australian detention centre for asylum seekers in Papua New Guinea. Manus Island is one of the two remote Pacific camps being used in Australia's controversial offshore detention policy. 35 asylum seekers broke out of the camp on Sunday evening. Asylum seekers arriving by boat or intercepted at sea are transferred to Manus or Nauru Islands. Well, Andrew Thomas joins us now from Sydney. And, uh, Andrew, are these riots now under control? Well, Manus Island is a very remote part of Papua New Guinea. That's why Australia and Papua New Guinea chose to locate this detention centre there. But it also means that getting reliable, independent information out is very, very difficult. Australia's immigration minister, though, has just given a press conference. He said, yes, the riot is over. He says that it began at about 11pm local time on Monday night and that it was over by 3am. But in that time, 77 people were injured, 15 of them seriously. One, as you say, died as a result of head injuries on his way to hospital. Another man also has critical head injuries. Another man was shot in the buttocks. How any of that occurred, though, is very unclear. Were the injuries sustained within the detention centre? Did detainees, asylum seekers, break out? of the camp and were they then injured outside. None of that is very clear at the moment. Australia's immigration minister says that the injuries occurred outside. But some refugee groups and refugee advocates say they're hearing that others, police and locals, broke into the camp and that some of the injuries happened inside. So a confusing picture. All this, though, the culmination of days, if not weeks, of low-level peaceful protests that first spilled over into riots on Sunday evening. And I think we've got some pictures of the riots that occurred on Sunday evening to show you now. This, as I say, was about 48 hours ago now. The more recent riots were on Monday night. We don't yet have any information, or, or pictures, I should say, of that latest incident. But According to Australia's immigration minister, all the riots are now over. The camp is now functioning as it should, albeit with potentially some missing detainees. Not only those who have been injured, two now being flown to Australia for treatment for their critical injuries, but also some who may have escaped and have yet to be accounted for as well. A very, very confusing picture at the moment. Andrew, thanks very much indeed for that. Andrew Thomas updating us there uh, from Sydney in Australia.